Uh, this is a Spooky 2 generator and I'm going to go over how to set this up in manual mode with the uh, boost cable and actually with the boost cable which is this which uses a little microprocessor in there to mix it's a signal mixer now I don't have it connected to the handhelds I'm going to show it connected to the remote but if you had the handhelds you'd have a positive and a negative side on the handhelds and you will connect it to you know the handheld tubes right so this is like a contact quote unquote well I guess what do you call it a frequency machine or a pad type rife machine but it's it's what you can actually put a um, plasma device to this too so it is a true rife machine also so first we turn it on on the side here a little button comes on and this is actually not too simple to do if you're setting it up for um, 100% positive offset but let me get on with how you do it first you click channel 2 right here you see channel 2 nobody is just coming out then you hit this drop down menu once twice and it says sync hit sync you click sync and then it comes up with this other menu menu says TF that stands for trace frequency you click that on trace frequency TF and you cl click on TA trace amplitude you click that on so you can see it lights up to tr click uh, trace amplitude now you're not done yet <laughs> it's like you don't need to have uh, put trace duty cycle because we're I, I'm not going to change it you're gonna leave it 50 percent duty cycle which is over here you can see 50 percent duty cycle and hit return 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 and it goes all the way back to info now on channel 2 we got to change the phase which is by that P number P and we also have to change now you and now this depends on if you're not going to use any offset you just leave it at zero but if you want to use 100% positive offset you change channel 2 to minus 100% because it's doing the opposite it's inverse sync all right you're because of the phase you're changing the phase 180 so anyway, you go to channel two, and you go to the next drop-down menu. He says phase right here, phase, and then here I can use this little knob, you can turn it one, and then use this arrow to bring it over, and you go to 180, yeah, 180. So that's eight, that's that, and then you go back, return, and you go to offset right here, offset. Yeah, real easy, right? <laughs> And then um, here you change, I use the arrow to move it over, one on that little green line, you go minus 100% minus offset. Then um, you return, return, wave, I'm going to use square wave, so use a, I can use a knob to change the wave. Here's a, and you go to return, uh, return, channel 1. Hit then I clicked on channel one. You go to wave. It's probably clear as mud. And there it is, wave. I changed it with the wheel. Then you go return and return. Now, if let's say for instance I want to set now this these should be synced, but you notice it's frequency zero, amplitude ten volts. Um, let's and also I need to change on channel one um, I forgot about the fa the um, offset bring it down offset there it is so positive offset negative offset because it's 180 degrees in sync 180 degrees off the phase is 180 so actually when they combine them with the signal mixer they're actually coming out a net of 100% positive offset and you go return <laughs> boy this is really clear as mud but unfortunately um, but the thing is if you're putting this using this in manual mode you will get used to setting this up actually and you'll you don't need to use um, this, the, this the boost cable with the signal mixer at the lower uh, frequencies because it has plenty of power but if you're using like something like I don't know 360,000 frequency you'll you want to have more voltage available you still won't even feel it 
but you can use the voltage then whereby combining the signals. So then you go return. Now here in channel one, uh, go to frequency. Let's put it on a thousand. You notice they're both moved together. C one and two. They're in sync, see? And return amplitude. Um, you see they're both moving the same. As I click them, you see eight. That's on seven. That's on seven. I'll bring it down to, I don't know, four. Return, return. Now, when I'm all the way back here at this, all you have to do is click on OK. They both click on, and you notice the red light, the only one red light is on. Okay, that's that's actually coming out of the positive side. Like if this was the cable, it would be out the positive side on the, um, you know, if you're using it like a zapper. Like in other words, if you have a hold the Clark zapper, it has a positive knit cable and it has it's not really a negative cable, it's like a zero cable because it never goes negative. It's hundred percent if you have a hold the Clark zapper, it's always a hundred percent positive duty cycle. That's how she works it because she says a positive duty cycle causes pathogens to be clobbered, but mainly it's boosting up your uh that's what according to her, it, it boosting up your uh, white blood cells. So, you know, now they're in sync and I can run double power. And I'm not going to run a lot of power through this remote because you don't need it. I'm not going to be, I'm just using this for demonstration purposes. But normally this is how you would set it up. And so if you go back to, um, let's say we hit channel one, we go to amplitude, we can bring it down. See, it's off. It's on, it's on one volt, so it's actually two volts combined, and you can bring it up, you see? See that? So you can bring it up. Now, to show you, like, I can change the frequency, um, go back, return, return, go to click on channel one, frequency. Now, if I change this to zero, it's off. Let's bring it up to one. See that? Let's bring it to less than one. See that? It never actually goes, you know, this light never lights up. It always goes to the one side. You notice that? See how it goes? It's only, it actually has a little bit and that's, that's, you know, I don't know, I didn't put this, I don't have an oscilloscope, but it's probably well within the parameters of the Hulda Clark uh, specifications. But let's go back and return to, like I'll bring down the amplitude, let's go return, return, uh, we're going to menu one, we're right at the beginning now, where it says info, hit channel one, amplitude, and watch the light, I could bring it down. See, it's a little more obvious. Bring it down. See, but the fact that the light, like if I bring it up a hair, you could see that. You see this LED light; it's almost working like a little oscilloscope in a way, like a a test light. But you notice it never goes to zero all the way, and that's exactly the way Holda Clark wanted her wave to be. She didn't even want it to go to zero. She wanted to have a slight positive like it would go down to like a uh, a quarter volt positive and then back up to nine volts down to a quarter volt positive then all the way back up to nine volts positive like that it would never go even to zero and because like when it's under load it she said you want absolutely no negative at all so you notice even if I turn this up right the, the this negative side never lights up that would be the black wire if it was in contact mode. Now you'll feel both of these because it's you're making conductivity through your body. So if you're holding a handheld, you'd be, be feeling this. And the only time you would need now I'm saying this with the positive offset with that's the whole the Clark theory of doing things. So if you're setting it up with the boost cable, you can do it this way. But I'm going to show you something else. If we return, return now, I marked these cables, you know, I got this one, like I said, this one with the white tape goes on, 
out one. Watch what happens if I'll shut this off first. So it's both shut off. I'm going to switch these cables. Oops. And you'll see what I mean. Like the signal mixer doesn't screw up, but it's like you got to watch which side you have on, you know, once you set it up this way, because actually you could set it up the other way and mark the cables. It doesn't matter, but you got to make sure whatever way, if you set this up, it's more easy to remember it in your mind. Channel 1 is 100% and you're doing inverse sync on channel 2, so you put minus 100% uh, offset to make it, you know, to flip it in and it'll flip around. But say I flip the cables around, hit that, you notice what happens. The other side is lighting up. That would be the black wire. That would be the black wire. So you can, you know, I'm going to actually get an oscilloscope later on. I don't feel like getting one right now because I got so much stuff. I got to build shelves with all this equipment. Um, but I'm probably going to get an oscilloscope and. Uh, check a lot of these things and see maybe even modify make some new zappers or something but um, see here again so if I go to channel 1 I go to amplitude we can bring it down see how's that and that's at a very very low frequency I just did that so you could see you know it's it's adjusted so I'm bringing it up here's a it's way up there See that? And again, I just want to point out, you know, <laughs> it, this probably is mind-boggling. Look at this, but you should actually, if you're going to use this thing and you don't want to, like, drag your computer out or something, you just want to use it in a manual mode, it won't be that difficult to learn this. It does work. And like I said, you don't need to use the positive offset feature. Uh, even with this uh, mixer cable, the boost cable with the mixer in it, because if you're using it at lower frequencies, if you're just using the one channel, it's it goes up to 20 volts. It's plenty. It's only like when you're using some of the Holden Clark frequencies that are way up there. I mean, I think like her zapper was at 30,000 um, hertz. If you had it at 20 volts, you're not even going to feel it. So, but you know, some of the zappers, I think Don Croft made one at. Uh, 15 hertz you definitely don't need to even do this you could just use the one channel and keep it simple but it is possible to set it up with the hundred percent positive offset with the boost and I you know I'm, I am going to get an oscilloscope later just to triple check this but I'm like I feel confident very confident that this is correct and um, so if we look at the frequency here if you want to bring it up you can see it's going slow see how slow it's going Let's bring it up, see? And if you bring it way up, it starts doing that. You bring it farther up, it looks like it's just lit all the time. But it's only on the one side. So, hopefully I'm clear as mud on this, but you can set this thing up manually quite a different ways. And it's a, it's a cool little generator. And uh, actually, I want to get the oscilloscope because I want to look at when I change the duty cycle... I want to verify all the theories of like the different secondary waves and stuff, points that it hits, and uh, what else you can do with just plain old contact mode. Because this little generator is really small. It's it's like a it's it's about as not much bigger than the zapper. Plus you can plug it in. I think that's pretty cool. So uh, anyway, I just figured I'd pass this information on. It may be too complex. I don't know, but if you follow the steps and you download the video or whatever and you look at the steps I did, yeah, you, it should become clear. It should become clear.